Hey Capricorn, so I'm late in <laughs> doing this. Um, it's already nighttime, I already see the moon. So <clears throat> I had to go grocery shopping, so that's what this is all about. But I'm gonna go ahead and do you guys' reading. And like I said earlier, I was so pumped to do everything, but now that I got back from grocery shopping, I'm tired. So I'm not gonna get to the other signs. Aquarius, I already said I was gonna, I committed to Aquarius and Capricorn and um, you know, everybody else, sorry so <laughs> capricorn we're gonna go ahead and look into this okay so basically i was just in the kitchen and the song all i want by chris brown came on so now i'm starting to before i would listen to the lyrics but now i'm really like in tune to it because i've always been attached to music and i always had a song for everything like you can ask anybody that knows me and now it's just even deeper because I'm really looking into the music. So this person, there was a line in there that said about um, if he had to learn a lesson or if this was a lesson, he's learned it. So this is letting me know that somebody out there, um, and this has been heavy with Capricorns, but somebody out there is wanting you. Like all they want is you, but it's like a, a messed up type of situation because in the song, uh, Chris Brown was messing with the married woman so i feel that somebody here is possibly in a commitment and they want you but they're stuck where they're at so that's what i got from that song so we're gonna look into capricorn see what's gonna be set off uh for this full moon in um in taurus so we're gonna check and see what we got going on and I promise you guys, I do not try to make these into relationship-wise, but when it starts off that way, I just keep and go with it. I don't try to have all these different stories. Um, maybe in the future, I might break it down into like finances and because I tried to do that in the beginning, but it's very tedious. So usually, generally, it's always about relationships. I think everybody out there is interested in relationship questions. I, I know I am. But anyway, so Capricorn, let's go ahead and look and see what's going on for you guys this full moon. And it's actually nighttime, so if you go outside, you can see it. <clears throat> I think I read somewhere that it's going to be available across or seen across all 50 states. Hold on. All right. That's too many. All right. So, very fitting to what it is right now. You guys got the full moon and Taurus card. Like, this, this is like, obviously, this is what it is. Full moon and Taurus right now. And you, the first card for you guys is the full moon and Taurus. Um, your dreams need a practical plan. So this lets me know that some of you guys want something so bad, but you don't really know how to achieve it or not necessarily how to achieve it. Let me rephrase that because I know Capricorns, we know what we want and we go after it. What I'm trying to get at is that you have to figure out if this is something that you actually want. It says your dreams need a practical plan. So once you get what you want, do you know how to keep it? Is it something that you actually want? So that's something for you to ponder. But it is about new uh, new starts, new ideas, new ways of thinking. Um, and so this message is definitely for you guys. Like literally that card popped out first. Um, also, what do you need to release? The waning moon. So this is a time for you to go through and figure out what is it that you want to get rid of what do you want to stop doing in your life what do you want to remove from your life and then we have luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius so this could be that in sagittarius season all these blessings or all these dreams that you've wanted are going to come into play i feel that what this is trying to tell you guys is that you have to put action behind your dreams 
And in order to get your dreams jump started and what you want, you have to release things. You can't keep the same mindset, um, behaviors, but luck is on your side, meaning you're protected. Like nothing bad can come to you because you already know what it is that you want and how to get it. So that's what I'm picking up with this. Um, at the bottom, it says, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So maybe some of you kind of like, what I'm picking up with that is uh, some of you may hide your, your gifts or your abilities or your ideas because other people shoot it down. And I know that Capricorns, you know, I'm a Capricorn. I was talking, I'm talking like I'm not one. I just have a lot more Scorpio and, and but my sun sign is Capricorn. But anyway, I feel like a lot of you try to um, maybe please other people and not, and you're, because you care. You don't want to do something that's going to hurt somebody else's feelings or make them feel uncomfortable. And so I feel like you guys need to live in your truth. It says, show the world the real you. If you like to turn up, then turn up. You don't have to post only pictures of you, you know, all cutesy and stuff. If someone tells you something and you act like it doesn't bother you, let them know it bothers you. Basically, just keep it real is what that's that's trying to say. So let's go ahead and look into... Um, so that actually wasn't even about love. I think that's about you in order to get the things that you want, whatever that is, whatever you're manifesting, especially today. You know, it's, it's telling you what you need to do. You need to release. And by releasing too, that also lets me know you have to just let things happen in its natural, its natural way. You know, don't try to force it. Don't try to rush it. It's going to happen, but you have to release it that want. And look, <clears throat> I'm cutting the deck here and I see ma uh, divine masculine in pregnancy. So I feel like some of you want a new start and some of you may want, <coughs> excuse me. Some of you may want a relationship and to have a child with your divine masculine. Or some of you want to actually start fresh or start something new. Look, soulmate. So that lets me know there's some there's somebody here that you guys are meant to be with. Like, I'm really getting that. There's somebody that you're meant to be with, like your soulmate. But there's just some type of disconnect right now. I keep seeing the soulmate card. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Someone's sorry about something. Someone's talking to their friends. So we have ancestor messages. So this message, whatever comes out today, is something that is in the cards. Something that you need to get with your ancestors about anytime i see this card i feel like it's something very important for you guys to realize so let's see look we have midlife crisis and we have communication issues so this is i feel like this is somebody else's energy here hold on look they got more game than the nba <laughs> screenshot and receipt so this is somebody that you're dealing with who is a player. This is somebody that messes around with multiple people. And that is why this person needs to learn a lesson, which I feel that they are, um, because we have midlife crisis here. Midlife crisis, in my opinion, is somebody that doesn't know what their purpose is, doesn't know if anything's working, that nothing's never working for them. And they're at a state where it's like they're giving up and they don't know what to do. That's why when everybody, when people say, oh, this guy sold his house and purchased a Harley motorcycle to go across country, like to a normal person, we're like, why the hell would you do that? But to that person, they feel like they had nothing to lose. So I feel like that's what this person is doing now that you removed yourself, because I really feel like you're focusing on yourself. This is a message for you to really focus on what it is that you need to release and what you're trying to plan on and work on for your future. Um, also, communication issues is an issue here. So a lot of you, what I'm getting from this is that a lot of you probably say things to people. They take it a certain way because they're not 
able to understand direct statements. So there's a communication issue here. So this also could be that you guys aren't talking to somebody or that you are talking to someone, but they're taking it the wrong way. So basically just kind of be mindful of how you talk to people. It's not trying to change yourself, but just realize I went to this uh, webinar for my job and it was talking about communication styles. Sometimes you have to meet people down on their level of understanding. So say someone's like extremely educated, they're using all these big words and you're talking to somebody that dropped out in the eighth grade. They're going to be looking at you like, what the hell are you talking about? So I feel, <laughs> I feel like you guys have to meet people where they are as far as the communication. No one's saying that you have to dumb yourself down or act like you don't, you know, talk a certain way or act different. No one's saying that. But that's just for you to try and get your point across to where they can understand. Because that means that somebody here is not on your level. <clears throat> With that being said, someone's not on your level and they're having midlife crisis because you're not in their life. This person took you for granted and they thought that you were always going to be there. You were going to be their support. Whenever they wanted something, they call you up, but you removed that. And this could even be, this doesn't even have to be just romantic. This could be a friendship. But I'm getting that this is somebody that, you know, is in your life. And because of their player ways, this is a lesson that they're going to have to learn. And this person is not good. A crisis is something that's like bad. <laughs> A crisis is something that no one has prepared for and it's happening and you have to figure it out and I feel like that's what your person is trying to do is figure things out during this full moon wow <clears throat> okay so we have imprisonment here we have expectation and then we have bad help at the bottom we have poverty wow okay uh capricorn this is not about you <laughs> i feel like this is somebody's um basically their karma and this is a i guess it could be looked at as good karma but i feel like this is more of a bad karma um, so someone here is not wanting to discuss with you that they're not in the best health. Like people don't understand that stress and depression can actually make your health really bad. So I feel like this person is like lovesick is what I'm getting. Or there's so much going on with their life <clears throat> that they don't feel, they don't feel like vibrant and healthy. They feel like they're dying inside. That just uh, made me feel a little bit um, sad. So if there's somebody that you have on your mind um, and you know that this resonates with you, please pray for them <clears throat> because this person is um, in a bad space right now. I feel like you may have expected this person to be different because you felt the connection to them. And I feel like you might be waiting for them to change but this person, and I know this isn't even supposed to be about somebody else. Like I really, it really was not even supposed to be about anybody else. But I feel like this is what you're having to deal with right now. And this is something that you may not even know that's going on. Because like I said, you guys are focused on yourself right now. Like everything good is happening to you and everything is bad. Bad is happening to this person. So you're good. You're straight. Nothing is wrong with you. But this person, your counterpart is going through some stuff right now. The song, All I Want Is You, is what the song is saying. All I want is you. The person's learning lessons. So this person is learning that you, that they had somebody in their corner that was willing to be there and uplift them, uh, push them to be the best person that they were, and they play games. That's why this, uh, that's why this is here. Got more, uh, got Dang, they got more game than the NBA. This person was playing games, thinking that everything was cool, having all these type of women and men. And now they're realizing since you removed yourself, like you didn't want none of that. You didn't have time for it. And I feel that this person, you have the screenshot them receipts. This person saves 
a lot of crucial information that you tell them and they go back and they're looking at it now and they're beating themselves up. That's why they have this midlife, cri midlife crisis. They're beating themselves up behind what they what you said because you were being honest and truthful to them. That's why I said communication issues. This person wasn't ready to hear that at the time, but now they are. And look, ex-partner. So definitely somebody from your past. Whether you guys were in a relationship or not, it was somebody from your past. And with this imprisonment card, it's kind of like this person is stuck in a jail. Like they're stuck with no way out. They've locked themselves in and got themselves into a situation that they're unsure if they can get out of. And for some of you, this could possibly be that somebody's going to jail for something. I try not to take it as a literal um, meaning, but it, it very well could be because they have some rats in their camp. Look at that. This mouse over here is on the outside while the person is in the inside. So somebody could have snitched on your person. Somebody could have said something or is getting them set up and they about to go to jail because they got told on. And this could be a karmic person. It could be a friend, uh, somebody that they're in a relationship with. That's the thing. When people go around playing games, you don't know the men mental state of somebody else. I'm going to have to look into that one because we're going to see. But yeah, this person is um, sick. <laughs> they're really like love sick. They're stressed, possibly even depressed. And then we have poverty. This person has nothing. They've lost everything. Playing games. This person lost everything. And now they're concerned. Look at that. This person probably does not have a job. They don't have a place to stay. This is letting you know somebody is just bouncing around from place to place. And they have people in their camp that weren't there to actually help them. They were there until things weren't good. And then they turn on you. We have a mature woman here. Official person, family room, something immediate, immediately message, message of concern. <clears throat> like this whole reading, like I'm not even feeling anything Capricorn from you guys' standpoint. I just feel like with everything going on, this person is probably going to try and reach out to you because now they're realizing that you were somebody that didn't mean them any harm. And I'm not saying, you, maybe there was some things that happened from your end, I don't know, but I'm not picking that up here. All I know is that luck is on your side. When someone's lucky, it's like nothing bad can happen to them. And it's like you guys are in self-thought, um, a deep thought about what you guys want and making plans for your future. Like, I feel like some of you really are moving on from this person. Like, you, you just gave up with them. And ever since you removed your energy from this person, they're not the same. Look at that. <laughs> Look. So we have angel of love here. So obviously there's a lot of love here. I even feel like you guys still have love for this person, but you have to focus on yourself. And the first card that came out is the sixth chakra. This is your intuition, like your third eye. A lot of you already know what's going on. And the thing that I love about this is that you guys aren't rubbing this in this person's face. Your silence is enough for this person to understand that, yeah, you you done messed up. And so you guys are starting to get very intuitive. You're going to have a lot of things that are coming to mind. You're going to trust your intuition. You're not going to second guess or think that you're wrong. Because what you're, what you're feeling about this person, if you have a person in mind, what you're feeling is exactly what's happening. Look, door to personal healing and happiness. This is for you guys. You guys are starting to realize that it's about you now. You don't have to worry about other people. People that are not going to be there in your corner. People that are going to try and use you. And this is going for everybody. It doesn't matter if it's a person that, you know, you feel like you're meant to be with. It's also, um, sorry, my leg is itching. <laughs> it's also for people that you've seen as being close. These people are stuck. They're stuck in a situation because they're choosing not to get out of it because it's comfortable for them. These people have issues. And then we have victory. 
So you're going to be victorious. This falls under the luck is on your side. You guys are choosing yourself and you're going to be prosperous. Everything, look, two plus eight is 10. So that's like ultimate. That's the ultimate completion. You guys are starting to realize you have to focus on yourself. That goes back to your dreams and need a practical, practical plan. To get everything that you want and not having to be hurt throughout the whole process, you have to f focus on yourself. Because if you focus on yourself, you're going to have a lot of victory. Great things are going to come to you guys, including love. <clears throat> we use uh, the holographic tarot cards uh, since, you know, it's fitting with the times right now. Oops. Yeah, that up. <laughs> See, look, that's why I, I didn't save it on purpose, but look, it's perfect. This message is perfect. And you know what? Sometimes I think as Capricorns, you guys do forget about yourself. It's always like work or, you know, being stable. But it's like, what about your happiness? I feel like for, for this time... You guys are starting to really focus on yourself and you're not caring about anybody else. You're focusing on your healing and your happiness. That's what matters right now. Because if you have the financial financial aspect taken care of, everything else will just fall into place. Look at that. We have three of swords and four of pinnacles in reverse. You're letting go of that pain that this person and every other person has caused you. You're letting it go. And that's what needs to be released, is the pain. If you harbor pain, nothing is going to uh, change from that. You're going to keep staying in the same space because you're having pain. Like, you're still feeling that energy. And you guys need to, like, remove yourself from that. <clears throat> is that the magician card? We have the magician in reverse. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, so we have the magician in the word of uh, the worst in reverse and the knight of swords. So you're no longer going to give your energy into these in and out type of people. One minute they're communicating with you, one minute they're not. Like, I feel like this person probably ghosted you several times because if they're a player, they can't give everybody the love. So it's like one minute they're messing with you, one minute they're messing with such and such and whoever. Because that's what they're used to, keeping on the go so that, that way they don't fall in love or have any emotions. Because this is a, somebody that's hurt. Someone that can't stay in a relationship and keeps bouncing around from, they're hurt. They're still trying to find something that they're going to try and find in other people. So I feel like with that card and those two, you're not going to accept just the bare minimum. You're setting boundaries with people. Look at that. You got six of swords. I'm sorry, six of cups. Why do you keep saying swords? You have the Six of Cups in reverse, and then you also have the Hierophant in reverse. So somebody that you once wanted to be committed to from your past, you are letting them go. This person can feel that you're letting them go. And that's why they're imprisoned and they're in bad health as far as feeling down on themselves. Because they know that they let a good game. A, oh my gosh, I about to say game green. Yeah, you cut them off because that's what you do with gangrene. But anyway, <laughs> oh my God. They know they can feel that you don't want this anymore. And I feel like that's what you're just releasing because you're you're telling yourself if it's meant to be, it will be. And you're releasing the need to keep stuck to this person because they're going through some stuff. And so it doesn't matter if you give them love or anything at this time. This person is not ready to heal themselves we have the four of swords <clears throat> finally a sword there. we have the lovers and the king of cups so guaranteed this person, it's you're heavy on their mind because they want to offer you love and emotion now. Now that you've pulled back, 
and you haven't communicated and you're doing your own thing. Now this person is realizing that they're they're being tough on themselves. This four of swords, they're definitely in their head. They're sleeping on it. They're praying that they can come back to you and offer you love and commitment. Because King of Cups is about emotions. This is something that this person probably never even showed you before is emotions. And now they want to come back and show you emotions now. That's crazy. <laughs> That's too many cards. <clears throat> we have temperance in reverse. I love these holographic cards. They're so pretty. This person is being impatient. It's like they're trying to rush. They're trying to rush this situation. And that's not going to work. They need to heal themselves. So if this person comes back, I would advise you guys, look at that. I would advise you guys really think about this because there's no way that somebody can heal themselves that quickly. That's something that it takes time. And I'm not saying that it can't be done, but you have to be dedicated to it. If this person is not dedicated and they're still around the same people with the same habits and the same situations, birds of a flip feather flock together i heard that in the reading i believe the other day and i posted that a couple days ago on my um on my facebook page so if this person's still around the same people then what makes you think they're going to change and then this popped out as well the tower there's some type of disruption in this person's life and they're going through it and this is stuff that i don't feel they've even told you but you already know this person is going through a lot of crap, like for real. Something that disrupted their life. Let's see if we can find out. And that's why they're trying to rush back to you so quickly. Or they're going to try and rush in quickly because they're going through troubling times right now. And you probably were somebody that healed them all the time. You were always there to pick up the pieces for them. Look at that. We have the devil card in reverse. <laughs> wow. So the devil card in the upright is about codependency, manipulation, addictions, just being ugly spirited. In the reverse, this is something that somebody's trying to get out of. So they could possibly be in a manipulative, manipulative relationship right now. Or somebody could be using them or codependent on them. They could have drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction. It could be anything that they are they were focused on that they're trying to get out of. But now it's like it's turning into either an obsession or it could even be an obsession with you. So this person is going through a lot of stuff right now. So to take them back at this low point in their life, I don't think that would be beneficial to you, Capricorn. Because I really feel like you guys are on the right track. You know, luck is on your side. You have plans. You're focusing on your happiness. And that's what victory is. You have to let this person go through their tower moment. You need to let them go through that. And I feel like their tower moment is caused by some of the stuff that they were doing. Their addictions, the bad, the ugly side. And they know they need help. Nine of Wands. So I feel like that's you. You need to take a break from this person. Let them go through their stuff. And maybe later you guys can come back together. But right now, there's too much going on with this person. Look, eight of cups in reverse. So this can actually go for both of you guys. I feel like for you, Capricorn, you don't want to walk away from this person because you're thinking about all the time and energy that you put into them. And this person doesn't want to walk away from you because they know all the time and energy that you put into them. <laughs> so that's why you're taking the break. I feel like you guys are going to come back together, but especially with that moon in the in the um, picture as well, I feel like there's some secrets, things that were not communicated properly. Look, Ten of Swords and the King of Wands in reverse. So, something happened. Sorry. 
something happened here where somebody felt like they were stabbed in the back and they were done wrong. And that made uh, you... Whose energy is this? I feel like this is both of you. Both of you did things to each other. But I feel like you were more vocal about it and willing to fix it. And this person, they are like one track mind with this King of Wands in reverse. It's kind of like their passion and their, I feel like their passion towards having multiple people is what caused this situation to happen. They were just so passionate. They went after what it was that they wanted and they didn't really think about it. They didn't think about the consequences. Okay. <laughs> we also have King of Wands in reverse. So Queen of Wands. Did I say King again? So we have a King and a Queen of Wands in reverse. So both of you are removing your energy from each other. And you guys are mirroring each other. I don't think you guys are mirroring their, uh, their stuff. But I feel like by you working on yourself, it's going to help them because you're going to mirror them if they're the true person that you're supposed to be with. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Swords and Three of Cups. It's actually this way. Let me put it the right way. So Three of Swords and Queen of Cups. This is you, Capricorn. Very blunt, get to the point. You told this person that you did not like their lifestyle. You didn't like the things that they were doing. You didn't like the fact that they were out there with multiple people enjoying life and doing things that they know they shouldn't have been doing. And you told this person that they, they didn't think anything of it because their ego, they wanted to do what they wanted to do. And now here we, how, now here we are, I cannot talk. Now here we are on this full moon and they're really feeling the effects of this. Knight of Cups in reverse. This person, they have love for you and they want to come in and give you something, but they don't even know how to start. They know that you have cut them off. So they're planning this three of wands here. They're trying to plan their plan of action, but they know that if they don't come correct with this sun in reverse, that things are going to backfire. And some of them could be waiting because maybe they're trying to find results of a child. So that's why they're stagnant, not doing anything. <clears throat> Man. Let's go ahead and get these twin flame cards here. I don't even know what to title these anymore because they're all pretty much the same. This is crazy. <clears throat> so this person going to try and rush in because they're going through a power moment and they're going to come in with, I need some help. That's what I'm getting with this. Because you never, you always were a gentle person. You cared about this person. You always tried to help them out. And they took that for granted. Like, how are you going to just come back? And to be honest, Capricorns, I don't feel like you guys are going to let this person back in right now. And look at that. This card gives me the creeps. And now it's getting creepier because it's nighttime. Earlier I seen this and I was cool with it. But, but now, uh, -uh. like this person has a choice to come to the light and chill, um, chill and hate. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Why did I say that? Pray for this person. Because I almost said hang. And I believe the hangman, I seen that over there too. Please pray for this person, whoever you are dealing with. This card right here, this person has a choice. It's like they're in limbo because it's like they don't know which direction is best for them. Or even how to, they don't even know how to come to the light. The darkness to them seems uh, easier because it's less work. This person does some stuff. They probably do drugs. They drink a lot. They just are in their, their, um, their space. Look, this says, I can't explain what I mean. And even if I could, I'm not sure you'll understand. So they feel that you wouldn't understand where they're coming from. <clears throat> but that's the devil card twice. This person is hurting. It's like everything is going bad for them at once. 
Some of them don't have a job. Some of them don't have a place to stay. Some of them could be facing prison or feeling stuck. Some of them could have bad health because they're stressed and they're not talking about it. They don't want people to know, I guess. Because they thought it was all fun and games being out there, being a player, and something happened. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't even my picture. That's one thing about having the hardwood floors. <laughs> There's still work to do on both sides. So this is going back to the ancestor message. You guys need to focus on yourself and this person needs to focus on trying to get some help. That's pretty much what that is. And I fell on the floor because somebody doesn't want to put the work in. And I feel like that's the person that you're, you're dealing with. They don't want to put the work in for that. Please don't lose faith. That's your person telling me that. I'm sorry for taking you and your giving heart for granted didn't i just say that this person took you for granted for all the stuff that you did for them and now they're needing your help but they're too prideful to come out and tell you because they've done some shit to you i don't usually cuss but like i feel like that's the spirit of y'all like capricorn is done with this i can't stand the thoughts of you with anyone else well get used to it this person is, now they're wondering like who you're with who you're talking to trying to get that old thing back as they say <clears throat> i know i tore you apart but the way you put yourself back together it's beautiful that goes right back to them taking you for granted this person continued to break your heart continue to think that they just had it like that because they have multiple females after them or multiple men after them and they got to a point where they noticed every time that you were hurt or every time that they hurt you, you bounced back with it. Like what? And you bounced back with something and they're like, damn, they thought they were going to break you and they realized it doesn't break you because they don't know you. That's the thing about Capricorns. People think they know Capricorns. We show you what we want you to see. You're never going to have full access to a Capricorn unless they truly, genuinely trust you. And that's mostly family, to be honest. I'm speaking for myself. But uh, yeah, don't wait for me to make you happy. I will come when you found happiness within. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. You're focusing on yourself. I need two more cards. So look, I'm glad I waited because this message came out perfect. Oh, well, you gave me three. Okay, so we have, it was my fault, but because of my pride, I blamed you. I just, I just said something about this person having an ego issue. This person, if you think about it, this pro person probably never even apologized for anything they did. I would guarantee you this person probably turned everything back on you. Every time you brought something up, up it was back on you. So many things remind me of you. Of course, when you don't got nothing, then you start thinking about all the stuff that you did have. Just like when we, as people, get sick and our noses are stuffy, we miss being able to breathe freely. This is what this person is doing. They're missing the fact that they had a chance with you and they blew it because they were so stuck on trying to do what they wanted to do. And here we are. They can't even get you out of their head. When I hurt you, I hurt myself. Mirroring. I just told you that. This person knows every time that they hurt you, they're hurting themselves. Because you're, that's one more time that you're starting to realize that that's something you need to get rid of. And then we have emperor. This person is trying to be an emperor. They're trying to be confident. Um, that man that you want, that woman that you want underneath that they're going through some karmic lessons this is their lesson and you guys have to let them feel this and all you can do is from a distance 
You can pray for this person from a distance, but you have to let them handle it. When you keep uh, bailing someone out of something, they're never going to learn the lesson that they need to learn. <laughs> Muted energy. So you guys have them blocked. You're not communicating with them at all. Look, I keep myself from you because I don't want to hurt you. I think I've done enough damage. Wow, these are on point for real. All right, let's get some angel messages <clears throat> for you guys in this situation. Like, I really, like, I'm telling you guys, like, I really feel good for the Capricorn. The Capricorn here, no issues whatsoever. Everything's going good because you are able to take inventory of your life and, and figure out what works and what doesn't work. That's where you guys are at. You're focusing on your happiness. But this person, like, I feel, like, I feel um, sad for them. That's really what I'm feeling. And I'm actually concerned for whoever this is for. I'm very concerned. So <clears throat> just keep this person in your thoughts. Think positive things for them. I know it's hard, but even if someone's hurt you and you're feeling strong pull to this person and you're feeling guided to do so, definitely say a prayer for them or hope, you know, manifest something for them that they get on the right track or something. Because I really feel like this person is going through it. And I feel like it's because you're not in their life. And I'm not trying to say that you're, you know, their end all be all. But this. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> what did you say? You don't want it? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this person's starting to realize that you were the wrong person for them to dog out and treat like an average person like you have goals you have a prosperous life you're lucky things are always happening to you that are positive and this person took that for granted because they wanted to keep playing around or they were trying to live up to other people's expectations and this one went on long All right, so we have nurture. <laughs> As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So this actually could be that you guys have family, um, a child. Um, and it's like you're, you're finding out what's more important to you. So if you have kids, you're spending more time with your kids. You're trying to understand your kids, doing things with your kids, and just being a, a nurturing type of person. Because by doing that, you're working on your own healing. And so I feel like this is for you guys, Capricorn. Be nurturing towards yourself and the people that you love during this time, including this person. Like, I really feel like you guys do have emotions for this person. I didn't see any cups coming out, but I feel like you guys are trying to suppress that. Crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Look, I thought that was a candle. <laughs> I thought he had a candle in his hand. So basically, this goes with the full moon in Taurus. Uh, your dreams need a practical plan. Show the world the real you. Be clear about what you desire. Set boundaries. I feel like you're going to have to set boundaries with this person. They're going to think that they could just walk back in. But I feel like you guys are going to put them to work. You know what to do. Look at that. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You know already in your heart, in your intuition, you know that this person. You ready for bed? Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you know that this person needs to help themselves and heal. And it's like you already know what to do, which is to leave them alone and let them deal with it. At the bottom, we have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So again, you guys are protected. I feel like if things transpired, this was um, on purpose. This was meant to happen so that your person can deal with their problems. So this is what you guys have going. Um, like I said, Capricorn, everything with you is straight. You're good. But I feel like whoever this person is that you guys are um, 
that you know, I'm going to just say no because I don't feel like I'm going to say attached. I, I feel like there is a soul connection here. I'm not going to lie. But whoever this person is, they're going to have to go through this karmic lesson on their own. You can't bail them out. This is something that they have to feel and they have to figure it out. So thank you guys for watching my video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And you guys have a good night and be safe.